China started building tanks in the middle of the 20th century. First, the country set up production of components for the Soviet T-34, then started manufacturing the Type 59, a local variant of the T-54A. This was the vehicle that single-handedly kick-started the Chinese tank industry, the tank with a Chinese body and a Soviet soul. The first version of the Type 59 is found at rank 5 of the Chinese tech tree. If you look at its gameplay and ammunition selection, it's basically a proper T-54. If you succeed in piercing enemy defenses, BR-412D APC-BC rounds can KO opponents in a single hit, and sub-caliber rounds allow the tank to be pretty effective at range. All in all, the Type 59 allows the player to be pretty aggressive, but you should be rather careful as well as the tank's sluggish turret traverse and low reload speed limit your ability to respond to new threats and challenges. Nevertheless, a vertical stabilizer, as well as a laser rangefinder found on the premium version, make the process of aiming and shooting significantly easier. The Type 69 is visually very similar to its predecessor, but plays very differently. It boasts improved turret traverse, a more powerful engine, and most importantly, a new smoothbore cannon. Truth be told, it was because of this very gun that the Chinese military eventually decided to drop the tank. Just look at the data for the APF SDS round. It has abysmal flat penetration and next to no after penetration effect. In other words, the Type 69 is that rare case when you'll be better off just using the good old heat rounds. While working on the premium Type 69 2A, Chinese engineers solved the problem with the tank's armament by outfitting the vehicle with a rifled tank gun of the same caliber, which used the same rounds as the Soviet D-10, including the high-explosive ones. Now they can be used in a variety of new and exciting ways thanks to all the advantages provided by the new platform. For many years, the Chinese kept on improving and upgunning the T-54A platform. One of those attempts led to the creation of the Object 122, the first tank with a 120mm smoothbore gun in the world and one of the most unique combat vehicles in the Chinese ground forces tech tree. The Object 122 is a highly mobile, well-protected tank that also carries four ATGMs for extra firepower. In the 1970s, Western technologies became more readily available to Chinese engineers. As a result, for quite a while, the main armament for Chinese tanks was a 105mm rifled tank gun, which was a Chinese version of the British L7 cannon. For instance, one of the tanks that used it was the ZTZ-59D1, which was one of the last variants of the Type 59. When it comes to its turret, gun handling, and engine performance, all that remained pretty much the same. But the tank also received thermal sights for the gunner and ERA arrays comparable to the Soviet Contact 5. Parts of the armor that are covered by ERA blocks can withstand hits by 105mm APCR and heat rounds, and the installation of thermal sights and a laser rangefinder allow it to excel as a sniper. The ZTZ-59D1 is not built to lead the charge, but this slow MBT can be very effective when operating from behind the front lines. The Type 69 2G is a premium export version of the Type 69. Like other tanks of its line, it received a more powerful engine and its gun has a faster fire rate. Its ERA blocks are only effective against heat projectiles, and the tank's optics aren't as good compared to what the late ZTZ-59 has, most notably because you don't get thermal sights. On the other hand, the Type 69 2G sits at a lower BR than its brethren. And with its decent armor, powerful gun, and improved turret traverse, it can easily engage enemies on its own terms. At last we made it to the ZTZ-88A, the precursor of the modern MBT line. Thanks to applique composite armor on its UFP, it can bounce off 115mm rounds. The turret's protection is almost the same as on the T-54, but Chinese engineers fitted the tank with a new fire control system and decent optics. At the same time, a powerful engine allows the vehicle to almost keep up with tanks like the Leopard 1A1 or the AMX-30. All in all, this MBT turned out to be highly versatile, 
The tank's only big flaw is its mediocre gun depression. The problem with the outdated turret design was finally solved with the arrival of the ZTZ-96. Apart from its reinforced hull and additional composite armor, it also received a 125mm gun with a carousel-type autoloader. The tank has access to sub-caliber rounds that weigh slightly less, but have a better penetration rate than their Soviet counterparts. All in all, they're among the best rounds that you can get at rank 6. The ZTZ-96 is equally effective in offense and defense, and a big part of that is that it has a faster reverse speed, up to 9 km per hour. Gun depression is still below average, but it's already at a level where you can engage enemies in front of you on uneven terrain. Just keep in mind that the tank's internal components are tightly packed, and its vulnerable lower glacis is rather big. The ZTZ-96A is an evolution of previous designs. Its gunner optics with 11x zoom and high-definition thermal sights make it a capable sniper, and FY4 ERA plates on the hull front are pretty effective against early APF SDS rounds. The tank was fitted with a more powerful engine as well, but it's still somehow slower when moving in reverse, with a max reverse speed of 6 km per hour. All in all, the ZTZ-96A feels somewhat similar to the T-72AV Tourns. It's a reliable tank that can stand its ground even against a rank 7 opponent. It's worth noting that there's a premium prototype of this MBT, featuring a different turret armor arrangement and a soft kill APS system. The tanks of the Type 99 series are the most expensive and the most advanced MBTs available to China. The ZTZ-99-2 and the ZTZ-99-3 share a lot of DNA with modern versions of the T-72. Their layout, armament choices, and road performance are almost identical to those of the late Soviet designs. These are well-protected assault tanks with autoloaders that have somewhat limited capabilities in terms of mobility. With their mediocre reverse speed, these tanks might have difficulty disengaging when things go south. Fortunately, the ZTZ-99A and the WZ-1001 have a reverse speed of up to 34 km per hour. Thanks to their great mobility, sturdy armor, and decent firepower, they're definitely among the best tanks found at rank 7, and a great reward for getting to the top of the Chinese MBT line. Despite some visual similarities, Chinese MBTs are different from their Soviet cousins in more ways than one. Which Chinese MBT do you like the most? Tell us in the comments below.